Here's a brief demonstration of how you can submit both a file and a URL to the same assignment should you be required to do so for one of your classes. Uh, so as an example, we'll submit this logarithmic differentiation homework. It doesn't matter what class you're in, this is just an example. Okay, so this uh, calls for a PDF of the written work as well as a URL to a graph, which you see on the right-hand side of the screen. So we'll submit the PDF first and then we'll submit the graph after that. To do that, we'll click Start Assignment. Down here, file upload is selected, not website URL or any of this other stuff, just file upload. We'll browse to locally on the computer, find our file that we're gonna submit, submit the assignment. It will load, it will show you a confirmation. Uh, we don't wanna click submission details, but if you do, you can see your PDF from there. What we wanna do now is that is successful. We've submitted our PDF of our written work. Now we're gonna submit our graph. So we'll start a new attempt at the assignment. Yes, it's okay. And we'll go over here first to our graph and we'll get the URL. We'll hit the copy uh, or the share link from Desmos. In this case, we'll copy our shared URL. That is a link to our specific graph. And then we'll say, all right, well, I have not a file upload. Rather, I have a website URL. So I'll click the website URL tab and I will paste it into there. Now, because I've made two submissions to this assignment, I'm going to put a quick comment in with this URL that says C prior submission for PDF. That's quick, succinct, and clear. It tells your instructor that, hey, I made two submissions. Take a look at both of them. Uh, submit assignment. And now we can scroll down and we can see that that worked. Confirmation, view the submission. If you want to click su view submission, like, you know, here we go. Let's take a look at submission details. This is what it looks like from a student perspective. Um, it doesn't really show that you've uh, done two submissions for this. Uh, let's see what happens if I go to the gradebook. I'm going to pause the screen share here for a minute, the recording rather. All right, so the screen is full screen now. Apologies for the change. Uh, I looked through, and from a student perspective, it is difficult slash impossible to tell that you have made two submissions to this assignment. Uh, however, from an instructor perspective, I can see that, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, but if you're diligent while you're submitting your assignments, you can see the confirmation and double check that the submission worked for each of the submissions and you'll be good to go. I'm going to pause the screen share and put this on the right screen. All right, so here we are uh, viewing the instructor perspective for my test student here that just submitted this assignment, logarithmic differentiation. So it shows me the most recent submission, which was our URL to the uh, uh, the graph. I can just click it. I can turn things on and off and, and fiddle with your graph as needed. Uh, that's good. But I can clearly also see that, oh, yeah, this student was uh, has made two submissions. I can view it here. But also, this is really helpful. See prior submission for PDF. OK, so now I want to see the written work. So I'll go to the prior submission. And as it will load, I just did a demo PDF. It's not actual assignment, but for the purposes of a demonstration, it's fine. There we go. We've got our PDF of the thing. I can download it, mark it up, and uh, review it for give you some feedback and return it to you through the gradebook like I always do. All right. Hopefully this brief uh, tutorial was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.